Hello all. Here I am on the third leg of my Northeast Ohio art tour, and I have come down Route 11 to the Butler Institute of American Art for the Allied Artists of America show. You can go, walk around, be normal, it's okay. <laughs> it's not, you can come in and see the show. It, it, absolutely. <laughs> Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Yeah, no, it's it's a spontaneous thing. And um, I want to show you around this absolutely fabulous show. The whole museum is phenomenal, and I've covered it on my Living Figuratively over the, over the years. But today we are specifically focusing on the selections from the Allied Artists of America show. So without further ado, I'm going to flip the camera and take you for a walk. Here we are. So this is the big gallery that when you enter, the very, very first thing you see is this gorgeous sculpture by John Bellardo. It sits in the middle of this gorgeous space so, so, so perfectly. I'm gonna do a quick scan around, spotlighting a couple beautiful figurative works, Fabio Kufari's The Patient Lady. This is a pastel, and it's quite amazing. And keep going around. Oh, and we've got a Max Ginsburg. You know I love Max Ginsburg's work. This one is smaller than a lot of, than the other one. He's got a big, beautiful one out there in the, um, the lobby, which I haven't seen yet. Um, we're gonna scan around a little bit. Take a look through, and here we have Louis Toledo has this big, beautiful, complex, it's called Untitled. I wish he would give it a title. You know I'm a stickler for a good title. Gorgeous flowers, glass, Cheryl Eggleston, Gail Madeira's Luminous Night. Ooh, that's beautiful. In fact, that is something, I'm working on something right now with like moonlight. So it's good inspiration. Got a couple more around this corner here. Wendy Caporal, one of the Portrait Society stars, has a piece in this show. Now we're gonna go into the next room. Ah, this one right here. This one, Diane Russell's COVID blues. Do you remember the good old days when everybody's face was half covered? I am hoping those good old days do not come back again. Some gorgeous work. This one, this one just glows. It brings sunshine into the gallery. It is by C CLJ Lancaster. We're going to do a little scan around just so you get a nice idea of what this beautiful show is. And I want you to come see it. And let's see, this one is Tony Sentimento's Ariella. Here's another one of my favorites. Pavel Sokov's Taiwanese Gangster. I love this. And I love how it's framed. It's framed so legally, regally, sorry, not legally, regally and it's beautifully painted. Beautiful toneless little pastel by Evelyn Miller. And then we've got Jason Chang, Janet Cook. Now the pieces that are in this show were selected from the whole 110th Allied Artists exhibition where they had, I don't know, it's like five, 600 entries. And there are a whole bunch more on the website, but some were selected to go into the show at the Butler, which is a beautiful venue for the Allied Artists show. They used to show at the Selma Gundy all the time, but when they got this amazing museum spot right in my backyard, this one is cool. It's even 
even better. So, gonna keep passing this around. Oh, let's see here. Missed a corner. Some beautiful, beautiful, beautiful works. This one by Tony Armandiz. Mr. Stripes. So let's go on to the next room. They've got three gigantic galleries at the Butler for this Allied Artists, um, the Butler exhibition. And it's just, just, just gorgeous. This one, Oscar Peterson's We Too, which is beautiful. This one by Harold Zebaudi. Jason on the farm. This one I like. She's got a nice, solid, solid solidity to her. Beautiful, by Francis Nguyen. And then we have Nanette Fleur's Autumn. And this is a beauty. Nanette Fleur is an artist who I've met a couple times in New York at the Selma Gundy. And she has, she has a specialty in copying masterpieces, but like not just copying them. She makes them absolutely sing. There's a gorgeous, gorgeous one that now I can't remember, but I can totally, totally picture it. Um, and she uses her classical masterly skills to do that. So this is a just a beautiful, beautiful piece. I mean, look at that. And then this one, Nicholas Rosenblatt's Houses on the Isle of Roro, Sweden. Look at that sky. Oh. Mm. We can see the cloud through the darker clouds. Gail Postel's Lorelei. Big fan of the gold leaf. I love the gold leaf. We're going to keep on, keep on scanning through here. It's really, really a stunning show, and I'm so glad it's here. I don't know if it's if this show is going to be here every year, um, because every year they do have the Allied Artists does have their uh, annual show, and we're on 110 right now. Here's another piece I'm going to stop and focus on: Teresa Brochers. She's been doing these scenarios where she's got a grandparent in the lap of um, their younger younger grandchild, and they are just poignant and beautiful and really, really just so, so, so beautifully done. So I'm really glad that I got to see one in person because I've only seen them online, Teresa Butcher. And then Steve Schuring, Serial Revisited, and Serial is spelled S-E-R-I-A-L, but there's a double entendre because he has put in all these little cereal boxes with sweet little faces on them. It, it, he's a madman. This is an insane, insanely madman-like painted piece. I. This is one where you say, you know what? God bless him. <laughs> but it's amazingly painted. Definitely worth looking at. Nancy Franz Vaz. This is a, mem a momentary lapse of time. And this one lives and breathes. It's really just a beautiful, beautiful piece. I don't know that I've seen one of hers in person either. I see her online all the time, and I've met her um, a couple times. This one is interesting, Rob Gregoretti. It is a pastel that is practically nothing but says everything. Look at that. Look at that. I mean, mm. The self-restraint in that, that's, that's a surgeon's self-restraint. Maybe a surgeon that doesn't take out too much. <laughs> Denise Francesio, Jungle Girl. Ooh, bright. We're going to go around. Oh, and look, here's a whole wall that's empty. They could have put one of mine in here. But I'm not sour grapesing it. And then we have Gabrielle Deloso, who is a fabulous feminist painter after my own heart. She paints herself portrait into the portraits of um, women artists from history who maybe are lesser known. It's really, 
she she has a blog about it and everything. Look her up. And we have Deborah Freeman. Oh, this one's kind of amazing here. Look at this, surrounded by time. And then this sweet little print that has a Marika Sat print feel to it. By, okay, I should say who it's by. Ellen Singer, the new dress, sewing on maybe a Singer sewing machine. All right, then we'll keep on going down. This beauty right here is a watercolor that won the Catherine Laura Lard Wolf Art Award by Bill Buffa. Buffa? Yes, two Fs. And this one is like communing with Vermeer. This is beautiful. Clark Gusson's Embroidery with Love on Kizzy. And this definitely has a living and breathing Vermeer feel to it. This beauty, Cher Pru Pruis, I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm sure. It's called Entranced, and she won the Gold Medal of Honor, which is the highest award that you can win at the um, Allied Artists of America show. It's a it's an amazing, amazing award, and she's there transfixed. This is, it's a beauty. It's a tiny painting. It's smaller than I expected. I saw it online, and it's, it's gorgeous and tiny. Here we go. Susan Weintraub's Intersection. And this has that city, gritty feel to it that, that's very, very cool. And then we have Stephanie Dishpande. And her painting is the bonfire. So Stephanie won the um, the grand prize at the Associates online show a couple years back, and I know she's gotten into the Allied um, shows since. She's also gotten into a lot of uh, portrait society things, and I know her from the portrait society. Um, I call Stephanie the queen of darkness because she is able to make. Things glow coming out of the darkness in with a, I'm, I, you know, I'm not going to say, oh, she's better than Rembrandt, but she sure does give Rembrandt a run for his money. I mean, look at these, the flames here that glow out of the darkness. And then she manages the darkness so beautifully, like it's not, it, it's this soft, diffuse darkness where, she shows exactly what you need to, but not one, not one inch more. But you see the whole, the whole shape there without seeing the whole shape there. And, and they've got this mood to it, too. This, you know, he, who knows what he's thinking of. It's called the, the bonfire. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what he's thinking, but he, there's, there's a struggle going on. And it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. So I'm glad she's in this show. John Salmian's beautiful overhead city, city look. And here is another one of my favorite, favorite artists, Lee White, who is a fabulous portrait artist, but also a lot more. Um, this is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeously painted, painted portrait. And like the earrings, oh, and then here we go. We've got these gorgeous bracelets on there. Those are really, really, really just perfectly, perfectly done. It's a gorgeous piece. All right, I'm going to keep on going. Here we go. This one is Linda Brown's Footsteps. So it's in pastel and it's snow. It's amazing. It's snow and it's pastel and it's pastel and it's snow. And it just, it feels exactly like when you are glad that you have high boots on and you're going through the woods and the sun is shining through and it's, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, and here is one by Mitsura Salgion, who used to be president of Allied Artists. We actually have one of hers in our collection. You have, may have seen it. A long, long time ago when I was doing Living Figuratively during COVID. Um, and she always has this little little guy that she puts in there. That's her special, special little trademark guy. Um, but she, the, her, the detail in this and the intricacy of it is just 
just sings, sings. And this is called Flora Sentimentosa Murmurina. And I do not know what the 58 is for, but I'm sure there's a symbolic story there. We'll keep on going right here. And the intricacy of this detail, this is Harsha Rodage Garba, the stitches. Oh, just amazing, amazing, amazing. Beata Spurzas and Ling Feng. And let's see, okay, here we have a little bit, little bit of a sculpture garden going on here. Evelyn Florets. And this one, so good to see you too. Little uh, wiener dog. I know that probably, you're probably not supposed to say wiener dog. This one is Sharon Pearsall's Reflecting on Bathing Dock. So these glowy little sunsets are just, just gorgeous. Lucille Ball, Beryl Paulson, and it's teeny. This is a tiny little, tiny little piece. Thomas Valenti, Our Lady of Good Voyage. A beautiful watercolor. And then Yuka Amata. Look at this. That is beautifully drawn. It, the subtlety and what what isn't there is just as important as what is there. Annie Pat's collateral damage. Here, let's go down. We'll go down the middle now. We've got Mary Cornish Hicks, and she's she does these amazing buzzards and birds and the feathers and the detail and the the yeah. glow and the silhouette and they're beautifully framed. Tanya Gant, who I've been watching her work online forever and ever and ever, and I don't know that I've seen one in person yet. These are pencil drawings. Pencil, 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 McPencil. I mean, they are stunning. Like, okay, that's, everybody has that little wrinkle on their neck from where your neck folds. And she's got that glowing with exactly the right amount of subtlety that everybody has. It's a gorgeous piece. Some sculptures. Let's see, this one is amazing. Carol yeah. Harless. Light. And then we have Helios by Maria Marino. Some pastels. Pastel here by Michael Gabriel, onions and turnip. All right, we got some of these over here. And we'll go up this side right here. This one I like. I like, I mean, I like them all. Natalie Featherston's Fight Like a Girl. So this one, you know why I like it? Because yes, of course, Fight Like a Girl. That's, a, that's an, old, an old cliche. And we've got the, the beautifully, beautifully painted gloves. Beautifully painted. Really, really just stunning. But then... All right, you look behind it, and what is the backdrop? It looks to me like a little girl's nightgown. So that introduces a concept. It introduces two concepts. All right, one concept is, now I'm not wearing pink, I'm wearing tomboy clothes, and I'm going to fight like a girl, number one. Number two, it could also introduce what she might be defending herself from. So this piece is definitely has a statement, a subtle statement, but a statement that I do, I do appreciate when artists make bold statements like that. To me, it's, it's very bold. And then, speaking of very bold, we have Elizabeth Prindle, Dominion. And this one has a lot of gravitas and fight to it. Um, 
I do not know exactly what she is referring to. There is a whip. There are things that look like instruments of torture. Um, and she has, she has done some beautiful pro-choice pieces that I've seen at other, other, um, other venues. So I, I know that this has a definite um, feminist, feminist slant to it, and maybe it's not quite, maybe it's open to interpretation. So I love that, Elizabeth Prindle. And Jean Judd's Marbled Windows won the John Young Hunter Memorial Award for Mixed Media. So it has, it's mixed media, it has the feel of a quilt and it's sewn, but there's possibly more to it. Can't touch it though, but it is a beautiful, beautiful piece. All right, now, have we covered everything? That's the question. Have we covered everything? I'm gonna give a quick, quick once over all around the gallery so that you all can see how gorgeous this show is and definitely come out to the butler and see it because there's lots more to see here at the butler too. They've got a beautiful sergeant. They've got, they've got all kinds of things. They've got a beautiful William Mary Chase. So anyway, I'm going to flip it around. I'm going to flip it around. Oh, we've got a security card. Um, so thank you all for joining me. This was, this was a wonderful trip. I'm actually heading down now to the Summit Art Space in Akron. I'm going to finish my, the, the last leg of my travels. And if there are galleries to look at there, we will look at them. If there's nothing to look at there, then I, what I will be doing is dropping off my pro-choice painting called Bands Off, um, which was accepted to the Kaleidoscope show. And I will be posting more and more about that as that show comes sooner. In the meantime, come to the Butler and see the Allied Artist Show. It's really, really, really phenomenal. So, all right. Thank you. Stay tuned.